On a sunny winter day, there was a street pancake fair. Many people had their masks on. After a whistle, the curtain raised on a tiny little theater. Drummers announced the appearance of Petrushka, the main hand puppet figure. Petrushka was a jester with a long nose and chiseled features, wearing a red shirt and a cone-shaped hat. Petrushka introduced a dancer, ballerina, whose name was Matroshka. Petrushka liked the girl and her dances. The guy had deep human emotions. Petrushka fell in love with the beautiful Matroshka and wanted to marry her. She, in turn, fell in love with Petrushka. She agreed to marry him on condition that he buy a horse, allowing them to travel and perform far and wide. There was one more actor in the theater. His name was Harlequin. He liked to laugh at everybody and make fun of people. Having learned that Petrushka was going to buy a horse, Harlequin offered Petrushka a horse. Petrushka wanted to examine the horse before buying it, but soon discovered that the horse was without teeth. However, the horse was quick. When Petrushka mounted him, the horse bucked and cast the rider to the ground. Thus, Petrushka was left without a horse and with a broken leg. People pitied Petrushka and ran to find a doctor. But a veterinarian arrived instead. An argument occurred at once. You cure horses, but you cannot treat people, exclaimed Petrushka. Somebody called the police. The chief policeman appeared. Show me your identification, mister. I suspect you don't have any. I do, said Petrushka. Here is my passport. Okay, but why did you insult the veterinarian? The fact is, said Petrushka, he is an animal doctor, but can't treat people. And why did you quarrel with Harlequin? Because he wanted to sell me an old horse. As a result, the chief policeman got very angry and sent Petrushka and Harlequin back to the theater. Again, Petrushka was offended by Harlequin. Then the mocker Harlequin began to invite Petrushka's bride to dance. Petrushka could not stand it. Petrushka finally attacked Harlequin. After that, Petrushka fled with the bride and Harlequin chased them. Harlequin caught up with Petrushka and pierced him with a sword. The ballerina Matroshka ran to her fiancé. Ballerina Matroshka sewed Petrushka's wound, sprinkled him with her tears, and brought him back to life. 
Petrushka got up. He ran up to Harlequin and struck him with a stick. The crowd was happy. A Russian peasant began playing balilaika. Coachmen and masqueraders were singing. Then the gypsies came with their dancing bear, all of them rejoicing for Petrushka. <laughs>